Okay, now you see the example number 22. In the example number 22, Sri Hari Enterprises manufactures a special product Z. They are producing product Z. And they give you following information for the current year of 52 weeks. They have mentioned 52 weeks in a year. On the basis of 52 weeks, you have to solve the problem. Minimum usage 25 units per week. And then reorder period is four to six weeks. On the basis of this, you have to calculate the average. Then normal usage 24, uh, sorry, 50 units per week. Maximum usage 75 units per week. Usage means use, means consumption. And annual carrying cost for it is 15. Okay, you have given the carrying cost. Order place, ordering play, uh, cost of placing an order is 100. Okay, you note down all the required points first, whatever given, and then apply the equation. You see here, minimum consumption is 25 units per week, maximum consumption is 75 units per week, the average consumption is 50 units per week, minimum delivery period is 4 weeks, maximum delivery period is 6 weeks, then the average delivery period is 4 plus 6 divided by 2, the average is 5 weeks. Okay, you see here, all the information is in week. You have to confirm it first. Then another information is annual consumption. Annual consumption is required for the purpose of calculating EOQ, economic order quantity, reorder quantity. Reorder quantity is quantity you orders once. You orders or we place the order for the quantity which is economical to our business. Therefore, Economic order quantity and reorder quantity are same. Therefore, for calculation of economic order quantity, we require annual consumption. Then weekly consumption is, weekly normal consumption we have to consider for calculation of annual consumption. Average consumption per week is 50. Okay, this is the average consumption per week is 50. Already given the problem. And you take 50 per week, and in here, there are 52 weeks. Multiply by that, you will get the annual consumption. Annual consumption is 2,600 unit. This is to be calculated because annual consumption is required for EOQ. Then uh, ordering cost for one order is 100 rupees. Then carrying cost per unit is 15 rupees. This is the given information. On the basis of this, whatever information you collected, First, you collect information. Then you calculate what they ask to calculate. First is reorder quantity. Okay, first I will calculate reorder quantity. EOQ is equal to economic order quantity. This is reorder quantity. Remember that. Remember one. Economic order quantity is equal to square root of 2U divided by C. So 2 into annual consumption is 2600 into ordering cost is 100. What are already taken down? Divided by carrying cost per unit is 15. Therefore, economic order quantity is calculated in this sequence wise. You make these steps and ascertain it. Economic order quantity is 186 units nearly, not exactly. It is in fraction part is there. I will not consider the fraction part. Nearly it is 186 units. It is nothing but whenever you place the order, you have to place order for 186 units. This is the first point. First question completed. Second question is maximum stock level or minimum stock level question is there. But it is not possible to calculate directly because ROL is required. Therefore, I first calculate reorder quantity, reorder level. Reorder level is equal to maximum consumption into maximum delivery period. Maximum consumption is 75 units per week into maximum delivery period is six weeks. Multiply these two, you will get 450. 
450 is the reorder level. What it means? Whenever there is 450 units in your godawan, you have to place order for the new stock. That means whenever there is one 450 units in your store, you place order for 186 units. It is economic quantity. It is economic quantity and it is the quantity when you have to place order for the new stock. That is called as reorder level. Clear. Then next what they asked? Maximum stock level. Maximum stock level is equal to ROL plus ROQ minus minimum consumption into minimum delivery time. So ROL reorder level is 450 units. Reorder level is 450 units. ROQ is 186 units into minimum consumption is 25 unit and uh, minimum delivery period is four weeks. Its answer is 450 plus 186 minus 100 is equal to 536 units. 536 unit is the maximum stock level. This is the answer for the question. In this question, we calculated the levels of stock and economic order quantity. Clear? We see the next example. Example number 23. Example number 23. Component zip. Component zip is used in the manufacture of telephone. In manufacturing the telephone, they use the component zip. The weekly usage of zip has been in the range of 600 to 1800 per week. Per week uh, usage is given. 600 is the minimum, 1800 is the maximum. In between means minimum 600, maximum 1800. And you calculate your average. Reorder quantity is set at 9600. Reorder quantity is 9,600. Reorder quantity means economic order quantity, 9,600. Delivery period is four to six weeks. And you calculate average delivery period. Consumption is in week, delivery period is in week, no problem. During the emergency, it is received in three years. If there is any emergency in normal time, in normal course, you will receive your new stock in between four to six weeks. Suppose there is an emergency, urgent requirement is there, you can have that material within three days. That is called as emergency delivery period. Emergency delivery period. Okay. Consider six days in a week. They have given a clue regarding how many days we have to consider in a week. Uh, week in a week. Uh, calculate the four levels. Reorder, maximum, minimum, and danger. They have to calculate four levels of stock. First, we calculate the required information. Okay. Minimum consumption is 600 units. Maximum consumption is 1,800 units per week. Average consumption is 1,200 per week. Minimum delivery period, four weeks. Maximum delivery period, six weeks. Average delivery period is equal to five weeks. You calculate how it is 5, 6 plus 4, 10, 10 divided by 2. I am not calculated here, you calculate it. Okay. And next is emergency delivery period is essential to calculate danger level. Emergency delivery period is required. Emergency delivery period is in days. Con don't um, take it easy. Be, came, be aware of this because emergency delivery period is given, but it is in days. And all the other information is in week. All other information is in week, but it is in days. So you have to convert the days into weeks. Okay. So how many weeks in three days? How many weeks in three days? Okay. This says as in a week, six days. Six days is nothing but one week. Then three days means how many weeks? You have to confirm. So six day means one week. Three days means automatically half week. Okay. So I consider this as a half week. Okay. So emergency delivery period is three by six. 3 by 6, 
is equal to 0.5 week means half week okay everything i taken in weeks in this way you have to check whether the given particulars are in one time unit or not in time time unit must be confirmed now you calculate the required thing rol write the equation in fill the values maximum level minimum level and danger level okay you see here ROL is equal to maximum consumption into maximum delivery period. 1800 into 6 is equal to 10,800. This is the ROL. Maximum minimum stock level is equal to ROL minus average consumption into average delivery period. So write the equation. Values 10,800. Sorry. Is right. Okay. ROL is 10,800. ROL 10,800 into minimum consumption is 1,200. Sorry, average consumption 1,200 into average delivery period 5. The answer is 10,800 minus 6,000 is equal to 4,800 minimum stock level. Okay. Then maximum stock level is equal to ROL plus ROQ minus minimum consumption into minimum delivery period. Its answer is 9600 ROL. Sorry, ROL is you interchange the amounts. ROL is 10800, ROQ is 9600. Okay, interchange and take down. Okay, minus minimum consumption into minimum delivery period 600 into 4. Its answer is 9600 plus 10800 minus 2400. Okay. Eighteen thousand is the answer. The value interchange you fill pro properly in in a proper sequence. In a proper sequence, you fill the value and ascertain the values. Values are uh, correct values but uh, misplaced. Then uh, you calculate danger stock level. Danger stock level is equal to minimum consumption to minimum sorry emergency delivery period. This is the equation. Minimum consumption is six hundred. Emergency delivery period is zero point five. Is equal to Answer is 300. 300 is the danger level. 300 quantity. Suppose your stock reduces below the 300 quantity, there is a problem to the production department. Then there is a stoppage in the production department because of non availability of material. Because of shortage of material, production will stop. If you are product, your uh, stock level reduces below 300 quantity. So you have to take care about this quantity. Okay, this is the danger level. In this way, you calculate. Okay, we will see the next example. You see here, calculate ideal order quantity from the following information. Ideal means economy. Economic order quantity, you may call reorder quantity you may call or you may call the ideal economic then reorder like this you call no problem monthly usage is given monthly usage is given but in economic order quantity we require annual consumption then ordering cost is 20 rupees per order cost per material rupees 15 here they have given two expenses 
one is cost to uh, storage cost per unit another is interest rate okay whenever you purchase a, a surplus stock you have to pay the interest on the payments okay so you have to give consideration for the debt investments debt investment if you purchase more stock than the requirements then there is a debt investment and you have to pay interest on it that is a additional expense therefore you to consideration so monthly issues is 100 this is to be converted into annual issues and ordering cost rupees 20 no problem it is direct cost of material is 15 rupee cost of storage means it is the carrying cost and interest cost is also carrying cost interest is also carrying cost okay these two points are to be added to ascertain the carrying cost per unit okay you see here annual consumption 1000 into 12 because 12 months are there in a year 12000 then ordering cost rupees 20 there is no problem storage cost per unit is 5% 5 by 100 into 15 is equal to 0.75 is the storage cost then interest cost is equal to 15% per unit 15 rupee and 2 rupees 75 paise sorry it is 2.25 misspelled okay 2 rupees 25 paise storage cost is 0.75 interest cost is 2.25 totally you have to incur 3 rupees so carrying cost is equal to storage cost plus interest cost 3 rupees the cost of carrying the inventory okay annual consumption is there ordering cost is there carrying cost is there on the basis of this you write the equation and ascertain the answer economic order quantity is equal to square root of 2 ao divided by c so 2 into 12000 into 20 divided by 3 is equal to square root of 44 lakh 80000 divided by 3 square root of 1 lakh 60000 is eoq therefore eoq is equal to 400 economic order quantity is 400 so in this problem important is they have given the items coming under the carrying cost so you give consideration to these two points